Uh, you know, for the first, like, nine hours of it, I felt like I was the monster. Like, I was just running around and killing all the zombies with a 2x4. Like, it was really easy. Last night, it got friggin' dark. It was, like, really, really dark themes last night. Dude, he's getting his ward back too quickly. There we go. Oh, this awkward thing is done. Okay, that's it. We have no more turtle quests right now. The only zombie one is break enemy wards with light or blunt damage. Um, okay. done okay zombie quests are complete um i still have a few quests from magician however i don't think i could do them in here we got one for ranger that's really difficult slug and bodybuilder are done was mermaid done Break any wards with sharp or dark damage. Problem is, she doesn't do blunt or dark, so doing that in this dungeon would be challenging. Use Boo five times without losing an aura. Hit values with any abilities while ethereal. Break any wards with sharp or light damage. <sighs> Kill baddies with guards for violence after active. Those would all be really difficult in here. All right. I think we just try to finish the dungeon without worrying about quests for the remainder of this dungeon. like you can't get anything to A. Uh, yeah. Probably have to do more of the main story or something like that. Which is kind of what I'm working on right now. I think this dungeon might have one of the main story things at the end of it.
Always kicking towards that Negro Summoner bill. <laughs> no. This dungeon requires you to be doing dark. Actually, I'm rotting to death right now. Uh, let's see if we've done enough to open the gates. The zombie loses health every second. Open chest, repeatable quest done. Might be better to go back to turtle. break any wards. Just a chest back there. says, what would be an easy legend to work towards other than the one from Season of the Dragons achievement? Um, if you have Living World Season 3 or 4, you can work on Aurora or Vision. Those are both ones that are just like, they're solo projects, so you can work on them on your own time. Uh, Obsidian Armor from Soto is, of course, soloable. It just takes a long period of time as well.
I was like, wait, why don't I just bully the boss? <laughs> Quest complete. Clear the dead dragon dungeon. Was this not one of the ones that had a shard in it? I guess it wasn't. I thought it was. Alright, Muck, what would be a sign? Uh, oh, I already answered that. What's this awesome game we're playing? This is called Nobody Saves the World. Uh, basically, the guy we're playing is a total nobody. And he found he got his hands on a wizard rod and a uh, wizard's wand, and now he can uh, transform into all these different things. And you're using it to try to save the world, sort of, and being a jerk at the same time. Captain Smee says, "Hey, Muck, I've played this game. It's extremely for the co-op. I played it with my nephew a few times, so I can wholeheartedly suggest you play with your kid." Oh yeah, I appreciate the advice. the times nine 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 dungeon. I think this is the next thing of the main quest. So check this out. Let's go horse for more speed. Alright, so there's light and sharp damage in here. Or, sorry, light and sharp is needed in here, I mean to say. Might be... That might be perfect for the Magician. He does both those types of damage. No, not you. Leave. Oh, I just realized I can't, uh, I can't level up in here. The quest areas, you can't level up. You just want you to, yeah. Yeah, it just wants you to just do the best you can. Kill 108 things. Lot of bones. Lord, Is everything exploding. Seems like when things die, they explode, and that includes my summons. Oh no. Thanks, I 
have to start over. Well, we finally hit something that needed light to break through it. And this guy doesn't do light. And in terms of the ward thing, the magician's perfect there, but... Like So, the slugs, basic attack is considered a light type, and the, uh, we've got the arrows from the ranger. Up health items quest. Nice. the bones always fire out in cardinal directions. So as long as I move in a diagonal angle from the exploding body, so I'll get hit. This kind of feels like a slow and steady approach, but we're getting there. Hey, Mike, I'm working on Ferris right now. I need a ton of Mithril and Elder Wood. Even where you'd recommend on getting bunches of it. There is, um... There's a farming spot in, uh, I think it's Malcor's Leap. That has, like, five Elderwood trees right next to each other. And they respawn, like, every hour or so. Now, this is kind of a patient approach, but if you want, you can park like a character there, log in, chop those five down, and just do that whenever you feel or you feel so inclined to do so. Um, it's just an option. Uh, I know a lot of people that you know, do that just to you know, pop in, grab five trees worth of spell. Um, another thing you can do is uh, simply play the game and farm resources at your you know, your own rate and then use any gold you get on that and just slowly basically divert any gold you're obtaining into that over time to get that to get that done remember you could instead of farming for elder wood or mithril you could farm something else and use it to purchase elder wood or mithril Oh, 
that magnetic, is it? A lot of exploding things. Two hundred fifteen level up tokens. ceiling for all my mini forms that are using it. Oh, magnet range plus 100%. Okay, well that's going to help. A, <laughs> a sad little slappy poo. That's like for the base form.
That was a lot of stuff. Kill 119 things to open this gate, and we killed 185. Little bit of overkill. I like the music too. Speaking of legendary smug, I logged to yours too last night for the first time over a week. I forgot I had won the giveaway and I start was startled by the mail. I'm now too nervous to open it and somehow screwed up by putting it in the wrong box or something. Remi remind me, which thing did you win? I didn't give out a legendary this week. I gave out a precursor. Did you win the precursor? I won Dawn. Uh, oh, yo, oh, wow. You, that was uh, last week, I think. I think this week I gave out the Gen 3 Sword Precursor. So it has been in your mail for a few days. border boss room stay away please we were lying we are not scared of it it is not the one only one with trickery its magic does not fool us we will put an end to it <laughs> 